hello everyone welcome to our channel seven star media in this video i am going to show you the basic things of after effects actually i know that everyone has the knowledge of uh, basic things but actually i do not want to miss this thing from my channel that is why i am going to show you the basic things in after effect okay let's start it okay at first you are seeing that this is i am actually using the adobe after effect 2015 cc and here you can find the new project okay last let's start it and after getting the new project here is the project and from here click the new composition by shortcut key is ctrl n just click it and here is the your composition name so what do, is you can change the composition name and here you can choose the width and height of the project okay uh, from here you can find the perfect height HDTV 108 927 one more thing is that this one HDTV this is actually the best perfect for film productions 1920 into 1080 which is called the full HD and if you are using for the uh, YouTube you can also use this one which one this one 1280 into 720 pixel okay from here frame rate, rate is 29 means near about to 30 and the duration is 30 seconds okay here you can change the background color you can do not change to red just keep it in the black actually black is the perfect color for transparent background okay press ok from here you can find the transparent grid here you can see the transparent things okay so what you need to do now just go for it from here you can go layer and new and create a solid the circuit is ctrl y and here you just change it some color suppose i'm going to take the red color okay and the automatically it will take the size as per your composition don't worry just go for it and the one other way is here you can click the right click and solid new and solid okay i am going to take some blue okay okay here is the blue one and the red one so at first i am going to show you the some magic things that is setting up 3d camera and setting up 3d layers and the animation okay let's go for it here just select the blue one and click this button and go for the transform and you can see the scale just scale it down okay and same you can do it by just pressing the shortcut key s by pressing the s the scale option will come and here you can adjust the size of this composition solid okay let's do it th into 3d here is the up bottom which will set this layer to 3d click it and click it after getting this after getting this bottom you can see there is a option which is the called axis bottom in the middle of the solid okay let's select from the offside the selection tool which is the called the arrow bottom and keep the so at first let me choose the blue one keep the blue one to the left side and keep the right one it's in red one to the right side now what you need to just rotate here is the rotation tool just click it and here you select the y axis and move it this side and same thing you do it for the red one okay now i'm going to create another solid let's give the color to something yellow okay and press ok and going to put this yellow into the bottom side okay you are not here you are not finding anything okay let's i'm going to choose you actually do it in the 3d okay here in the active camera you just choose the custom view 3 what you are seeing here nothing you are not able to understand let's see it here select the yellow one and 
click the selection tool and move the z axis of the yellow and move it up to this okay here you are able to find the perfect vision of uh, this frame okay here go for it active camera and one more things if you are not able to see this way means custom view you can do one more thing click and create a new camera and here give the name of a camera and set the 35 mm do not change anything just click hit ok ok the camera is set here you can see the camera angle is showing don't worry go for the active camera and one more thing that after selecting this camera tool you can find control this button which is called unified camera tool just click it and when you will come to your composition area here you can see the mouse of but the, your mouse style is changed it is showing some camera style okay now click your left button and move it here you will able to see this thing so one more thing here you can find there are several buttons which will use for the camera just choose the Z camera and when you will click it it will go forward and backward okay let's go for it and just press the C every camera tool has the only one shortcut key which is C and move it move it move it and this is the way you can find the perfect vision of your 3d systems okay now go for the animation okay okay let's start from here and select this and click this button and click the transform just go for it and select all the keyframes actually the expression tabs okay add some expression after clicking this you can see in the timeline some kind of expression means it is called the dot lines are generated and go for after 10 second and do one more thing click this tool and move it to this side here you can see a keyframe is generated for the position of a camera okay suppose if you want to some kind of jet z view you can go for it and if you want some x and y movement go for it select it okay now here is the preview you can go for the first frame and here you click the play here you can see well yes it's moving this way suppose it's not going perfect way you can do one more thing okay you play this when you are in this position just pass this and select this one the Z camera tool and press some move and move it some backward okay now again you play this yes and this time you can do also same thing same thing okay now play the all thing okay we are going in the perfect way this way you can animate anything and one more thing suppose you are going to set the 10 second actually at the past we took 30 second of uh, recording so in the timeline you can see up to 30 second now you can adjust it up to your 10 second and here you can right click it and click the trim come to work area so now here you are only the 11 or up to 10 seconds of uh, animation okay okay this chapter is complete now i'm going to show you some more interesting things okay let's go for it now i'm going to choose let's delete the camera okay here is the 
things at first you just select one more thing suppose i'm going to choose the red one and click this button solo it so that what you will see only this bottom this um, layer red one is showing suppose if you click solo the blue one only blue if you unselect it only blue is showing okay just select any one of this and here what you are seeing the axis option is showing in the middle suppose when you are going to root this it is only rotation in the middle of this layer okay suppose i am going to do some trick let's see here is the one more option that is called anchor point just at first select the layer and click the anchor point and now you are able to move this axis to anywhere you can select actually the layer is not moving only the axis is moving and keep it here okay now when you click this rotation tool and click the th this one what you are seeing yes it is moving in your anchor point okay same thing you can do it with red solid just go for it and select the anchor point move it into the upside now when it will rotate it here it is moving when it will move this way it will move this way okay it's very nice so what one more thing you can do how you can move it continuously can you answer it okay here is the position what you need to do you are moving the y axis okay you just click it and go for it and select the rotation tool and here is the y axis when let's do it when you choose the percentage here it is moving okay so what you need to do let me do it just hold the alt key and press this radio bottom in the expression and what you are seeing some kind of a transform and y rotation is showing just delete it and type time and star and type 90 and press enter okay now play it here is the result it is automatically moving there is no need to do anything there is no need to change anything it is automatically running moving and it is also automatically looping means there is nothing going wrong okay here is the best trick that you can do with any animation or anything okay now let's try for some mask thing here i am going to create a new composition and name the comp 2 and press ok here you can find the comp one and say another project and it is the one more project suppose if you close this comp one you can get it from here by double click on the comp one okay let's go for the comp two and press select a new solid and read it okay here is the new solid one and here just select the red solid and click this bottom this is called the pen tools okay now drag some mask here and hit ok ok the mask is completed here you can find the mask you can see it here the mask one here you can find the background is fully transparent and the only selected area which is called the mask the mask area is only showing as per the solid color ok now you can do one more thing that here you can see the perfect things the transparent area here you can do one thing that here you can see the mask one is showing add just select it and click the subtract what you are seeing the 
full area is red the only selected mask area is blank means transparent so you can do accordingly and click the add okay now go for some animation in the mask okay let's select the mask path here you can add some expression and after few seconds do select the uh, click the mask expression and change the mask sorry mask to is generated just click delete it okay select the mask expression select this buttons and here here you adjust the areas as per your needs now what you need to do now play this here is the result actually two bottom one is mask path is generated this bottom and another is this key so keyframe is generated now from one keyframe to one keyframe another keyframe it is automatically animating when you play all these frames it will show something like that okay this way you can animate this okay one more thing is mask feather here you can see the border side border side is showing something hardness you can do it some softness by mask clicking the mask feather here just do it here you can see here you can see suppose do something extra yes it is only some kind of things it is showing only the softness okay okay let's minimize it and you can create one more mask from here just select it and one more thing is be sure that your red solid is selected and click somewhere yes it is done you can do it with the more things just select this red solid and click this triangle any kind of uh, size and drag it here here you can see the mask 3 is generated 